I guess you're welcome to the Minecraft modern tutorial today. I'm going to teach you how to add GUI to your tile entity. So we're going to make a new package now. It's going to be called client.gui. Now we're going to have a handler in here. It's called our GUI handler. This must uh, implement i GUI handler. Control Shift O. Uh, add the unimplemented methods like so. We now need to register this, so let's go over to our proxy. It's a client proxy. Do it in the init of the client proxy. And all it is is network registry dot instance dot register GUI handler. And mod is just a bit of everything dot. And it's that instance thing right here. This bit right here, used for GUI stuff. And handler is just a new GUI handler. Like so. Now, that is our GUI handler registered. The client, the server GUI element is basically the container. The client side is the actual GUI. So, we want a public static final int and we're going to have an id for our block breaker so i'm going to call it block underscore breaker and that's going to have the id of zero now what we're going to do here is if the id that is given is the block breaker id then we're going to return a new container container block breaker the player inventory is player dot inventory and that's just our tile entity so that's world dot get tile entity at new block pars xyz and I'll get us to cast this one um, like so and that's our container now registered now we need to do the GUI we need to actually make a GUI though so let's go into here I'm gonna call it GUI block breaker we're gonna make this extend GUI container control shift O to import GUI container there we go, GUI container, that's going to make us add a constructor that's got the container in. Um, we don't want this here. What we're going to do is going to get the I inventory, the player inventory. We're also going to get the tile entity, so tile entity block breaker TE. Here we're going to make a new container, so new container block breaker with a player inventory and the tile entity going to also store the tile entity so private um, tile entity private tile entity block breaker te one thing I forgot last time this dot te equals te um, like so this is going to make us want to add another method draw container background layer we also need to store the player's inventory so private i inventory player inv and just going to set that so this dot player inv player inv now we need to set the x and y size of our gy so we go to x size let's bring this up so the x size is whatever value it is right here so it's 175 and the y size is I think this is actually 176 and I think these are supposed to be even let's just, just do one more in this one we're gonna just make it so it has that grey background thing so GL state manager dot color we're going to do 1.0 f 1.0 f 1.0 f and 1.0 f 
which will make a transparent background. We're now going to bind the texture of our GUI. So, so I'm now going to get our block breaker PNG file. Uh, we need a new folder. We're going to call it GUI. Inside GUI, we're going to have another new folder um, called container. And this is inside of our textures folder, by the way. So that should add that. We're now going to do this dot mc dot get texture manager dot bind texture new resource location uh, reference dot mod id and all it is is textures um, gy container block underscore breaker dot png we're then now going to draw this dot draw textured model rect believe it's this one so the x coordinate is this dot gy left this dot gy top the menu zero zero uh, this dot x size and oh what am I doing this dot y size like so okay so we're now going to draw the foreground layer so we've just drawn the background now we're going to draw some strings on top which actually are the front of it um so we Um, now this won't actually do anything until we add a method called on block activated. So that's when you right click it. We're going to do if the world in dot is remote with an exclamation mark. So it's not. We're going to do player in dot open gy. The mod is just bit of everything dot did I spell something wrong oh biff bit of everything dot instance the gy id is going to be gy handler dot block breaker the world is world in uh, the x, y, z is pause.getx, pause.gety, pause.getz. And like so, that will now open a GUI. This is great, guys. Great. So now in here, we just have to do one final thing. Do a check. If the ID is the block breaker's ID, then we're going to return a new gy block breaker which has a player so player dot inventory tile entity we can copy it from up here and like so that is now our gy done okay so the game is loaded up so if we go inside of our test world we should be able to see that the gy is going to work now i am actually recording this like a couple of weeks after the f or clips um but and that's because i have in fact updated the gy a bit so you can put enchanted books there's not much of a change here but as you can see the gy now entirely works which is really good i've added some stuff so if you want to see all this stuff that i've added it's on my github which is in the description um so here we have the interaction with um the t uh, tile entity which that's what the transfer stack and slot does so it allows us to shift click stuff out that's how i did that um i will also show you that this works so i'm just going to get rid of this so 
So if I turn this on, you'll now see that this block will break and go inside here. Um, a future plan is to make it so you actually see that it's breaking, not just it gets rid of it. Um, so you can see that the items are inserted into the tile entity, which is really good. Um, cool thing is, is when you, if you look at my GitHub, you'll see everything that I've done. And the really cool stuff about this is that you can actually put uh, different uh, enchantments in it. So if we get ourselves a fortune, and I'll grab myself a block breaker here. Let's just turn this one off. Um, so we've got a block breaker here. And what we can do is you can actually immediately shift click in to these. These can go in here, but no other item can go in here but an enchanted book. Um, which is useful. So I'll just show you with a um, lapis ore and a diamond ore and also glowstone and glass. Um, I'll show you that if I put in efficiency, it will now break a whole lot faster. As you can see, it gets the drops incorrectly. Uh, it will break glass, but you won't get any drops. So if we switch this out to a silk touch, you break the glass, you get the glass. You break the glowstone, you get the glowstone. You break the diamond, you get the diamond. You break the lapis, you get the lapis, which is great. Efficiency speeds it up. Um, fortune, well, you can guess fortune so you get more out of it so this should give us about four diamonds uh, you get higher percentages so it basically does it as if you're breaking it with fortune now you can't layer on these effects it, that might be added I don't know depends on your your guys's thoughts um, but it's really cool um, something that you might find useful um, if you give yourself an enchanted book um, stored enchantments and then uh, if you put in one ID 32 level and I believe it's level 7 that's fortune 7 this is an instant break which is actually really useful so it's literally an instant break um, so if I just grab out this, uh, don't forget you can break it like that. Uh, if I just put in this efficiency here and switch it on, literally every single cobblestone as soon as it gets placed, as you can see, it's an instant break, but you can only get this with command. So if you want something to instant break something, there you go. So that that's only instant break with an advanced version of the block breaker. I've made it so that with a basic version of the block breaker, it isn't as fast, but yes, it still does pretty fast breaking. So uh, if I just put this on top, it breaks faster than normal. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I am out.